Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to use On One Photo Raw's No Noise AI and TechSharp AI together. Now, of course, No Noise AI has been in On One Photo Raw for a little over a year. TechSharp AI is relatively new, and they're actually both very, very easy to use. But there might be a little bit confusion about how to use them together. So that's what I'm going to be covering today. We're going to be working on this image. You can see that it's pretty blurry. And I want to obviously sharpen it. And there's a little bit of noise, so I'm going to use No Noise AI for that. Now, to get to those two tools in On One Photo Raw 2023, you go to the Develop module, and you go to Noise and Sharpening. And you can see that there's some tabs or subtabs going across the top. The first one is called Classic. That's the classic noise reduction and sharpening that's been in on one for several years. This isn't what I'm talking about. What we're talking about here is No Noise AI and Tack Sharp AI. Now, me looking at the image, I noticed the blurriness right away. So I want to get rid of that right away. So I would go to Tack Sharp AI and click, and it's pretty automatic. You just have to wait for it to render. And once it does, it looks pretty good. And let's just say that, okay, I like that. We're going to keep that. Now I want to get rid of that little bit of noise. So I'm going to go to No Noise AI. And when you click there, what you'll find is after it renders, and by the way, there's a tiny little progress uh, bar in the lower right-hand corner here that's showing you the progress of the rendering. Well, you got rid of the noise, but it's blurry again. That's because uh, the way this works is you use either No Noise AI or Tack Sharp AI, not both together when you're clicking on these two buttons. When you want to use them both together, you have to click on both. Just kind of a little bit confusing maybe for someone who's totally new to the application, but just click on both. Now you'll notice when we're in No Noise AI, we have these three sliders in this drop down here where we could choose the AI model, either high detail or original. And when we're in Tech Sharp AI, and you have to again wait for it to render, there's that progress bar. You can see there's just two sliders there. When we go over to Bow, what you'll have then is at the top the No Noise AI with those same three sliders with the same drop down for the AI model. And then below that, you'll have the sharpening. So that's really as simple as it is. Uh, all you need to do is when you want to both sharpen and remove noise, you have to click on both. You just can't like go through these buttons one at a time. Now, the nice thing about using both is because inside of the noise reduction part, the no noise AI, there is this slider here called enhanced detail, and this will help you gain some sharpness that you may not have been able to gain just using Tech Sharp AI all by itself. You can see this enhanced detail. Now, you can see the, the bird's a lot sharper than it was. I mean, it was pretty bad. If we go to preview here, there's before and there's after, and there's before and there's after. So it is a lot sharper, but maybe it's still just a tiny bit blurry in little parts. Well, if we go to this enhanced detail, and I'm just going to max it out so you could see that you can't overdo it. Let's let it render. Again, you have to wait. Look at this progress bar down here at the bottom. And you'll notice, once it does render, now it is over sharpened, right? If we zoom in, you could see that it's definitely over sharpened. So you have to be careful with it um, and probably do it in very little pieces, meaning just bring it up a little bit. Yeah, you're going to have to wait for it to render. Then bring it up a little more, wait for it to render. and Pretty soon, you will find kind of a, a happy place where it's going to look best. And if you went any further to the right, it's going to look over sharp. And then if you went to the left, you're not maximizing how sharp you could make it. Now, on this specific image, somewhere right around there looks pretty decent, I think, once it renders. And that looks pretty good. So that is the advantage of using both because you have this enhanced detail slider right here. Uh, that is part of the noiseless AI uh, section. Now below that, of course, we do have sharpening. Um, 
usually it maxes out to 100 all the time. I'm not sure. And also for luminance noise reduction and color noise reduction, it seems to always max those out to 100. There's really no nuance there. And I think on one would do themselves a favor if they re- did this so that you got the same amount of luminance noise reduction, but this slider wasn't always at 100, and that slider there wasn't always at the 100, and you got the same amount of sharpening, and this slider wasn't always at 100. That way you could kind of tweak it a little stronger or maybe back it off a little bit. Of course, we can back it off now. But what I'm getting at is in the sharpening section, we do have this micro sharpening slider right here, and this is similar to enhanced detail, maybe not quite um as um strong but if you move it you see i maxed it out and it's not really over sharpening uh this specific image so it's not quite as strong but it is meant to get those finer details and it works particularly well on wildlife so um move this around i do suggest you zoom in hit like command plus on your computer you could of course click on the image too and zoom it in but you could see and then you could move this around and see how you're affecting in this case, the bird's feathers. So that's really it. That's all I really wanted to talk about in this video, how you would use both um, No Noise AI and Tack Sharp AI together. Because especially if you're new to this app, you might be bouncing around between the Tack Sharp here and No Noise here and thinking that you have it a problem because it's turning off one when you're using the other. So that's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.